And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. And AMD's upcoming Vega 20 GPU was recently spotted, courtesy of video cards, in the Final Fantasy XV benchmark database and represents one of the first data points that we have in how it will fare in gaming. Now, it goes without saying that this is a very early preview and will almost certainly not be indicative of final product. This is, in all likelihood, an early engineering sample, so clocks and drivers are expected to improve further as well. Not to mention that this benchmark is terrible. Now, before we begin, it is worth pointing out that we have no information on whether this is the RX version or not. In fact, we have reported earlier we believe AMD will not even be rolling out an RX version of their 7 nanometer Vega 20 at all and will instead move directly to the next generation architecture. This is most likely the Instinct variant, which definitely isn't designed for gaming. The PCIe ID is 66AF colon C1 and performs roughly equivalent to a Pascal GeForce GTX 1080. The benchmarks we're looking at are the 4K high setting and we see the Vega 20 GPU coming just under the 1080 and slightly higher than the GTX 1070 Ti. This is in line with what you can expect a GPU like a Vega 20 to output if the clock rate is low. Now keep in mind the Vega 20 Instinct GPU is made primarily for professional purposes and is not intended to be used for gaming. Now over on the article we have the rest of the benchmarks for 1440p and interestingly enough the AMD Vega 20 GPU retains its position fairly consistently. The device ID confirms that this part is indeed of the Vega 20 family and this leak likely occurred from one of AMD's test labs themselves. Good job guys, good job. Now considering Nvidia does not have a 7 nanometer processor right now, Volta and Turing are 12 nanometer after all. This represents one of the few times the company has overtaken its competitor, well, on paper anyway, as far as a roadmap goes, and it represents a significant leap as far as power and performance efficiencies go, which is pretty important for the server and data center market. Cost and volume were two things that were not mentioned, but considering 7 nanometer is on the very bleeding edge of fabs right now, and yields can't be all that pretty, in other words, this card's going to be expensive as hell. Well, guys, love to hear what you have to say about this topic down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you all in the next one.